So I've been installing um, a Vitadens 200 and I need a relay box and um, relay boxes from Wiesman come in at about 80, 80 odd quid, something like that. I think that's plus fat and um, I don't know, I kind of don't like the idea of paying that kind of money for something that's so simple to make. So this is a, this is a relay box that I've made here and that's got a um, little solid state relay on there and a few way goes and it's all assembled with a hot glue gun so and uh, these little boxes here um, can't always get some that are so perfect that actually fits absolutely perfectly but uh, these were these were stacked high on the counter of my local electrical shop for 50 pence each and I just bought a stack of them but this is actually the last one which is a shame because I don't think I'll be able to get one that's such a perfect size again but anyway, um, I bought a assortment of Wagos from Screw Fix, and I've sort of thrown half of them away. Well, you know, got them somewhere else in the van anyway. Um, and I've got this little selection here that I use for making up the circuits and stuff. And I've got these little Polish relays. So these are, I think these are about six quid, something like that. And you can see there these little tiny pins. These, uh, I think these are suitable for putting onto a PCB and you just literally just pop them in place and give them a little squash. I won't do it while I'm trying to hold the phone here. Um, you can see here I've got uh, three that I've assembled and I've got another rack of them there. So I keep these on board for doing all sorts of little control tricks. But um, it's the same relay that I've got in here. And uh, the way it goes here I've used to hold the resistors that I've used to make the circuit and the two ones that are open are ready for my cables so I'll make an entry hole come inside, connect into those. And these two cables here are just so that when I'm on site, uh, you know, I don't have to keep struggling around to work out what's what. So alive and neutral there to operate the coil. There's no polarity on that, so it doesn't actually matter if they're uh, the right way around or not. Um, there's no polarity to operate the relay. And these two holes here take the um, cables, which should be connected to a thermistor um, for the cylinder sensor, but this box is to replace the thermistor and um, so The thermistors are also something I've started to make myself. These are expensive to uh, to buy pre-made and this little beastie here, which is a 10k uh, Sorry, a, a, yeah, 10k thermistor is about 3p uh, from RS components and Basically you solder it on the end a piece of heat resistant cable similar to my little drawing here and you just saved yourself 35 quid. A little circuit diagram here of my relay unit. Um, so basically here we've got our power live and neutral on to operate the relay. So my cylinder stat supplies the live signal. And um, I've got my uh, cylinder thermistor connector connected across the common and my extra terminal here. And uh, it's normally in the off position, which is 1K. Um, the resistor in line and the boiler will see about 20 degrees centigrade uh, sorry about 70 degrees centigrade and so it'll be off um, when the cylinder stack calls switches across to the normally open and it will connect a 12k uh, resistor across which the boiler will see as about 20 20 degrees centigrade I think it is um, and um, will fire up and give me some hot water. One of the disadvantages of this technique is that you lose the uh, intelligent reheat. So uh, if you can get a thermistor on it's better, but if you can't then you can do this. Um, also on the Feastman boiler the outside sensor is also a 10k thermistor. So uh, one of these mounted in a small plastic box, uh, something like one of these uh, with a bit of cable out. These for 50p. I buy these in Estonia um, bring them over about 50 pence, one of those, a little bit of cable, a thermistor, uh, soldering iron from Maplins, and away you go. You've got the job done. So just run through this. So you can see here I've got uh, a resistor in here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can zoom in. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we've got uh, a central block. These way goes absolutely brilliant. This is one connector, so there's three 
three clamps, but this is all um, all joined together. So they're not they're not sort of separate circuits in each one. That's a joiner of three, joiner of two, joiner of two. So basically, on this side, I am going um, through one resistor. I'm not sure which one this is. Uh, to to one of the points on my um, on my relay, so either normally closed or normally open, depending. This one's connected to the other normally open, normally closed. What is it? Normally. Okay, so that's a normally open. So if that's a normally open, that's a 12k resistor, and this is a normally closed. So this will be the 1k resistor, and. Uh, as I say, my operating cables. So that's going to be my this point here on my drawing. This point here between the two resistors. So one of my connections will go there from my uh, boiler, and this point here is my common connection from the drawing. Sorry if it's making you feel a bit sick with the camera movement. Um, pops in this one. Uh, and that's it, very quick and easy to wire up and as I say, um, what's that, less than 10 quid I guess and a bit of my time and save myself 80 quid plus the VAT on a relay box.